Birds are among the most successful animals in the world and they have conquered almost all ecosystems and habitats on this planet. These living dinosaurs can be found on all seven continents around the world and each species is adapted to a slightly different way of life. Birds have adapted to exploit different food sources and environments and they fulfill different roles in ecosystems around the world. Some are crafty, calculated predators, some are open grassland giants, and some have become agile masters of the seas. In today's video, I will be taking a look at all the birds around the world, and I will be ranking each continent by their largest native bird. The birds will be ranked based on their maximum recorded weight, and I won't be including any birds that have been introduced. I'll be excluding domesticated birds and captive specimens, as these birds are often bred to be heavy and they are far removed from their wild counterparts. Without further ado, we can take a look at our first bird and to find it we can head over to North America. North America is home to many large birds, including powerful predators, scavengers and water birds. There are two species of pelican in North America, and each of these birds hunt fish in a different way. Brown pelicans will sometimes dive into the ocean to catch their prey, whereas American white pelicans usually work together and scoop up fish from directly beneath them. Other semi-aquatic predators come in the form of herons and anningas, with the largest heron in North America being the great blue heron. In the skies you can find some of the most iconic eagles such as the bold eagle and the golden eagle, but North America's largest eagle is the harpy eagle which can be found in Central and South America. This eagle is one of the largest eagles in the world, and they are known to pluck arboreal animals from the treetops. Even though eagles and hawks usually steal the limelight, North America's vultures are some of the most impressive of their kind. The California condor is one of the largest and most iconic birds in the region, but this giant of the skies almost completely disappeared. It was declared extinct in the wild in 1987 due to poaching, lead poisoning and agricultural chemicals, but thanks to monumental conservation efforts they have made a comeback today. If you want to find the largest native bird in North America you don't need to look in the remote mountains or dense forests, as you can easily find them along calm lakes and rivers. The trumpeter swan is the largest native North American swan, and it's closely related to the hooper swan of Eurasia. Unfortunately, just like the California condor, this bird seemed close to extinction in 1933, as only 70 wild trumpeter swans were known to exist. It was feared that this beautiful bird was going to disappear for good, but eventually a Pacific population numbering a few thousand birds was discovered in Alaska. Thanks to reintroductions and protections their numbers have rebounded, and by 2010 they had a population of around 46,000 birds. The trumpeter swan does look very similar to the tundra swan which also has a black bill, but the trumpeter swan is much larger. In the wild they feed almost exclusively on aquatic plants, but they will also feed on aquatic invertebrates from time to time. Their eggs are targeted by opportunistic omnivores such as raccoons and ravens, and adult swans are sometimes targeted by predators such as bears, wolves and cougars. This swan is quite a substantial meal for any predator, as they are the heaviest living bird native to North America. They have a maximum wingspan of around 3.1 meters and a maximum recorded weight of 17.2 kilograms. This size means that they are one of the world's largest species of waterfowl, and surprisingly they slot in at number 6 instead of 7. In Europe you can find a variety of giant birds, but as the continent is close to Africa and is joined to Asia, it shares many species with these continents. Because the European explorers were obsessed with introducing species into places where they don't belong, you'll find a large number of non-native birds in Europe, and many European birds dotted in random places around the globe. In the warmer southern parts of Europe you can find colourful birds such as flamingos, and even though these animals are very tall, they aren't the heaviest birds on the continent. They sometimes share their waters with the largest pelican in the world, the Dalmatian pelican, and this bird can have a wingspan of over 3.5 meters. Along the coasts of Europe you can find beautiful cliff nesting orcs, but these shores were once home to a much larger species. The great orc went extinct in the mid 19th century due to overhunting and egg collection, but during their time they were the largest of their kind. 
They stood at around 85 centimeters tall and they resembled modern day penguins. Even though these giant birds are no longer with us, there are plenty of other European giants that can still be found on the continent. The white-tailed eagle is the largest eagle in Europe and they get to this size by mostly feeding on fish. Inland you can find the Eurasian eagle owl which is the largest owl in Europe and the second largest owl in the world. And these giants mostly feed on small mammals, but they can take down prey as large as herons and foxes. The second largest bird in Europe is the hefty great bustard, and this bird is believed to be one of the heaviest flying animals in the world. Many believe that the Great Bustard is the largest bird in Europe, but there is another bird with a greater maximum recorded weight. The Mute Swan is native to Eurasia, but it's been introduced into quite a few countries around the world. Today, it can be found in North America, and sometimes it can be spotted next to the previously featured Trumpeter Swan. The Mute Swan is generally smaller than the Trumpeter Swan on average, but thanks to one giant specimen in Poland, it does have a greater maximum recorded weight. The Mute Swan has a max wingspan of around 2.4 meters and the largest ever Mute Swan weighed in at 23 kilograms. This individual was so large that it was believed that it could no longer fly, and its record-breaking size means that Europe slots in at number 5. South America is considered by many to be the most biodiverse continent in the world, so it makes sense that there is a wide variety of bird families that can be found here. It's most well known for its tropical rainforest species such as toucans and macaws, but these birds are just some of the beautiful species that can be found here. Because the climate and environment vary so greatly across the continent, there are many landscapes and scenes that seem like they belong in another part of the world. Along the south coasts you can find many penguin species, and in the Andes mountains you can find a few flamingo species. Tinamous are one of the most ancient groups of birds, and they are believed to be the closest relatives of the long extinct giant mowers of New Zealand. Like the mowers, they are mostly ground-dwelling birds, but they can fly if they need to get away from predators. The two Sarima species also have very famous relatives, as they are believed to be related to the nightmare-inducing terror birds. Just like the terror birds, they are impressive predators, but of course they do feed on much smaller prey. The Andean condor is one of the largest vultures in the world, and it's one of the most iconic animals in South America. They can travel up to 200 kilometers in one day, and they mostly focus on the larger carcasses on offer such as llamas, guanacos, and alpacas. The largest bird in South America is not a scavenger or a predator, as instead it's a large peaceful plant eater. The greater rhea resembles ostriches in many ways, but it is smaller and lives a very different life to its African cousins. There are two species of rhea alive today, but the greater rhea is larger, and it's found over a much larger area. These giants are omnivorous and mostly feed on broadleafed foliage and insects. Even though they are colossal, they still need to look out for predators, as they are targeted by cougars, jaguars, and even maned wolves. These predators will have to work for their meal, as the greater rhea has a wingspan of around 1.5 meters and a maximum weight of around 40 kilograms. This size means that they claim the title of the largest bird in the Americas, but they are still only fit for number four. Out of all the seven continents, Antarctica has the fewest bird species, but it's also home to some of the most iconic birds in the world. Its coasts and islands are visited by the majority of albatross species, and some of these birds own the largest wingspans in the world. Along its coasts, you can also find a few hardy fish-eating birds such as shags, but of course Antarctica is known for another group of fish-eating residents. There are nine species of penguin that can be found in Antarctica and its surrounding islands, and these penguins differ in shape and size greatly. Even though they are very clumsy on land, they are extremely agile in the water, and most Antarctic species feed on small fish and krill. If living in freezing conditions wasn't hard enough, these distinctive birds also have to look out for a few terrifying predators. Leopard seals are efficient hunters and will even play with the penguins that they catch, but even these predators are targeted by orcas. Most penguin species make great parents and they go to great lengths to protect their young and keep them warm, but the habits and behaviours of penguins differ greatly from species to species. 
Some penguins are monogamous, whereas others find a new partner each mating season. The species that are monogamous form very strong bonds, and same-sex relationships and partnerships are very common amongst these species. The king penguin is the second largest penguin in the world, and it's normally found on the warmer sub-Antarctic islands. These penguins are loved by birdwatchers due to their beautiful orange coloration around their heads and necks, and also because of their clumsy, lovable demeanour. The Emperor Penguin is the largest penguin in the world, and it looks very similar in appearance to the King Penguin. The Emperor Penguins have a less vibrant colour around their heads and necks, and of course they are much larger than the King Penguins. Emperor Penguins are endemic to Antarctica, and they are the only penguin species to breed in the harsh Antarctic winter. During this time, the penguins trek 50 to 120 kilometers over ice to get to breeding colonies, and the male will incubate the egg while the female goes out to sea. When the eggs hatch, the chicks soon turn into giants, and when fully grown, they tower over most other birds. The emperor penguin has a maximum wingspan of 90 centimeters, and it can weigh in at a whopping 45 kilograms. This is around the same weight as a sun bear, and it means that they easily slot in at number three. Now, as some of you might have guessed earlier on in the video, the next two continents come in at a joint second place. These continents are Oceania and Asia, and they do share the same largest bird. As I've already covered, Asia shares a lot of its bird species with Europe, but it does have quite a few species of its own. There are many beautiful tiny birds such as the sunbirds and spider hunters, as well as the fascinating birds of paradise. The hornbills are among the most distinctive bird species that can be found in Asia, and one of the largest species is the great hornbill. Both male and female great hornbills have colourful bills, but you can tell the sexes apart by looking at the colour of their eyes. They use their strangely shaped bills to feed on fruits in the treetops, but sometimes they will feed on small mammals and they have been known to raid the nests of other birds. A variety of owls can be found in Asia's forests, including the largest owl in the world. Arguably the most beautiful and graceful birds in Asia are the cranes, with some of the most renowned species being found in China, Korea and Japan. As well as sharing many species with Europe, Asia also shares a lot of species with Oceania, and they share the third largest bird in the world. Because Oceania is made up of lots of small island nations, it's home to thousands of seabirds and coastal nesting birds. Because many of these islands were separated from the rest of the world for millions of years, they have many species that can't be found anywhere else in the world. This is especially the case with New Zealand, as at one point in time its islands were completely dominated by birds. As I've already covered, the giant mowers were once found here, and so was the largest eagle that has ever lived. Even in the modern day, birds completely dominate its landscapes, but invasive species have had a massive negative effect on the native birds and they have even led to some extinctions. New Zealand has a large number of distinctive ground nesting birds, and it also has a predatory parrot that fills the ecological niche of an eagle. Over in Australia, there are even more weird and wonderful birds, such as the emu that has famously won a war against man. The emu is a real giant, but it's only one of many large birds that can be found in the country. The Australian pelican and the lesser known Australian bustard are pretty hefty birds, but they are not as graceful as the brolga, which also goes by the name of the Australian crane. All of these birds are impressive in their own right, but they are nothing compared to the cassowaries. There are three species of cassowary that can be found in Australia, Indonesia and New Guinea, with the largest species being the southern cassowary. This bird arguably looks more like extinct dinosaurs than any other living dinosaur, but its head and crest can differ greatly from bird to bird. They are known for being very dangerous birds if they want to be, but thankfully they only normally attack when provoked. There have been a few fatal attacks over the years, with one of the most recent cases occurring in Florida, when an elderly man was killed by his pet. Its long claws can easily cut into the body, but they don't usually use their claws in this way in their day-to-day -day lives. Instead, cassowaries are mostly peaceful forest animals, and they spend most of their days feeding on fruits on the forest floor. 
They are even able to digest toxic fruits, and this diet allows them to reach pretty impressive sizes. The southern cassowary has a tiny wingspan of around 50 centimeters to a meter, and this is because they have tiny wings with weird spur-like appendages. What they lack in wingspan they make up for in weight, as they can reach a whopping 85 kilograms. This means that they are the largest birds in Asia and Oceania, and they slot in at second place on this list. Africa is home to the largest land mammals on this planet and it's also home to the largest birds. The birds in Africa always need to be on the lookout for large predators, as many of Africa's cats and reptiles are more than happy to snap them up. Giant Cory Bustards need to be on the lookout for leopards and caracals, and the weird and wonderful shoebills need to fear the infamous Nile crocodiles. Africa's birds of prey come in many different shapes and sizes from the powerful African fish eagle to the skillful secretary bird. This long-legged bird hunts its prey on the ground, and it stamps on its prey to disarm and eventually kill it. This strategy allows it to hunt dangerous animals such as venomous snakes, and sometimes they will even hunt animals as large as young gazelles. The largest birds in Africa only need to fear the most powerful predators, and they are among the most well-known birds in the world. There are two species of ostrich alive today, the common ostrich and the Somali ostrich. The common ostrich is the larger of the two species, and it can be found over a large area of Africa. At one point in time, these birds were found in the Middle East, but these animals are now extinct despite an attempted reintroduction program in Israel. They are incredibly fast and powerful birds, and if you get on the wrong side of one, it is fully capable of ending your life. A fully grown ostrich is not an animal to be messed with, as they have a maximum wingspan of around 2 meters, and they have a maximum recorded weight of 156.8 kilograms. This means that the ostrich and Africa slot in at number one, and no other birds come close. If you think I should have included any other animals in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.